In this step, we will show how to create a mapping that will read data from input and show it in the card. Let's start with deleting one of the buttons and renaming the other one to rename card. Now let's set up the input component, add it to the page and modify its placeholder and label text. We will also need to modify the button click event we already have on the page. You can delete the existing click event. And after that, define a new click event for the button, this time using the mapping action. When the mapping editor opens, map the input value to the card item title text by using simple drag and drop. If you want, you can also modify events and actions without deleting them. To do that, just click the green pencil button and make the needed changes. Save the action, click Save and Replace, and you're ready to test the mapping logic. 